Hello guys and welcome back to another part in my analog DIY synthesizer videos. In the last video, if you remember a while back, maybe about a month or so, can't quite put my finger on it, um, I did a video uh, where I shared this particular um, device which I uh, ordered from the internet, which well from eBay should we say, which is also available at midimuzo.co.uk. Uh, and it's a MIDI to CV um, converter PCB stroke circuit. So, if you remember last time, I sort of did the un the unboxing, stroke unwrapping of uh, the whole thing together, all the parts, etc. And I sort of sort of took you through briefly about what it does. Now. I made a bit of a pig's ear of it, to be honest with you. My soldering is not that great. I'm still sort of trying to learn that at the moment. And the pads were very, very small. So a few pads got lifted and sort of beyond repair. So I sent a message to the guy and said whether or not he actually does this in a pre-assembled kit. And his answer was not at the moment, in a few weeks. So I left it a few weeks and waited before it popped up on eBay, to which I have just got in the post this morning. So what we're going to do is have a little unwrapping and have a look at the, shall we say, second edition. Now this is pretty much the same thing I'm hoping. I haven't, you know, I've just seen the pictures on eBay and I thought I'd just take you through it. So if we have a look, this is what we get again. We get a leaflet with all the, uh, the schematic for it and we get an information sheet. So this is the board. So if we have a look here, and we can see it's nicely wrapped, and it's been stapled together. Now, let's have a look to see what we got. And so here we have a pre-assembled version. Look at that. There we go. And if we look, we've actually also got little three point. I think this is three point five. It's called three point five jacks. Beautiful. Check it out. There we go. So it's pretty much exactly the same thing, but we obviously we've got um, SMD parts, surface mount components. We can see we have the various chips there, and that's the trimmer chip because we can have this from 1.2, 1.5, and one volt per octave settings. So this is, if you can see, let's see that's after touch there. Pitch bend. We've got volume modulation, pitch gate, and pitch and the MIDI clock as well, which is very, very convenient. And a few test point and a few headers there, which we'll go through. I'll do some fun I'll do a functional testing video on this next and see if we can hook this up to my DIY synth and see how well it performs. You can see this one MIDI and jack and sorry about the focus. And a power port jack, same as the one I put together on this one. If we have a look at it. This one looks nice and tidy. I love how we've got all the uh, we've got the out jacks on it as well. It'd be interesting to see if I can make a housing for this as well, some kind of circuit. Or actually, you know, when it comes to actually putting my synthesizer together properly on the PCB and everything, I can kind of incorporate this as well. So there we have it. Anyway, uh, please go to midimuzo.co.uk for more information, or you can have a look on eBay and just search for. Um, MIDI Muso CV12 Oct Octex. It costs about about forty. It costs about forty-four pounds, forty-five pounds stroke, forty stroke, forty-five pounds uh, UK pounds, should I say? And that includes the. Well, sorry, there is a little postage charge, but that's nothing really, to be honest with you. I mean, for what you're getting, I think this is really good value for money. It's all made. It's all done. Boom, ready to go. Anyway, like I said, I'll be back very, very soon once I've sort of had a little play about with it and I can show you some uh, functional testing videos and see how we can get this working and how you can guys can uh, get hold of this and probably use this to your, or use this to your advantage or make good use of it, should we say. All right. Anyway, I will be back soon. Like I said, take it nice and easy, people. Soonage.